Hello, hello, hello everyone! And welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Originals! And in continuation of our Avatar week, we are going to be featuring the Lego Custom Avatar 2009 movie, Thanator. But before we head on, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be able to support my channel. Please let's keep on all the ads on all my videos. The guys, this PC contest winners will be announced later on in the video, but for now, let's move on with the Thanator. So making the Thanator was quite a challenge for me because there are actually several um, limbs to this uh, particular creature. So you have here uh, four limbs on the front and uh, two limbs on the back side. Several other parts from other figures were used to um, complete this one. Of course, with some detailings coming from flexible foam as well as wires. So if you put here um, a saddle, a minifigure can also be attached to it. So let's just test this one on uh, the DCL. So perfect. Alright, so what we need now is sculpting. And here is the finished sculpt of our Sanator. So the... Um, arms are actually bumped up and also details on the head are included there are also you know um smaller uh, wires that were attached on the ends and also flexible foam on the what do you call that you know, fails i guess similar to the dilophosaurus and now it's time for us to paint so i have this one primer already using primer 68 and uh, we're using that particular um, uh, reference. So the reference is actually a black, uh, overall black creature with several detailings on it. So the details would include um, bright, uh, brightly colored um, appendages or antennae on, on the sides of the head. And uh, the ends of the, what do you call that, operculum are also actually colored yellowish or reddish we're going to mark this one with you know um uh, black um striping pen or i guess something that is very uh, shiny so that it will be delineated now initially i'm painting the sides or the antennae of this um tanator white so that when I apply the phosphorescent or the um, glow in the dark paint, they would actually be um, clearly seen. Make sure that the first coat of paint is actually dry. So use a uh, hand dryer or a hair dryer for for this one before you actually apply on the next paint or the next coat of paint. In this case, our glow in the dark paint. So the base paint or the base of the uh, antennae is actually colored yellow and the ends is actually colored orangey. So we're just mixing the two together, um, a little bit of uh, pink and also uh, yellow to make our uh, orangey color. So the snout of the Thanator is actually exposed, the skin is, so this is actually a flesh colored tone painted on uh, some parts of the uh, head where the skin is actually exposed. So the gums of the Thanator actually reaches uh, above its head, so be careful to not overdo it otherwise it will look like a super ugly alien <laughs> all right of course we're painting the insides of the mouth as well with a little bit of um, flesh with reddish tones to it and then we're going to let it dry before we paint on the teeth
The soles or the foot pads of the sanitizer is actually lightly colored, so we mix a little bit of white and with yellow ochre to make this color, and then painting them on uh, the creature itself. For the eyes, I wanted them to really glow in the dark, so initially I'm going to paint it white, then add on the yellow colors to it later on. For the body detailing, I have here an extra glossy black and we're going to paint uh, some of the armor as well as the uh, you know, um, detailings on the um, sculpting on the Thanator with this particular color. And that's it for the making of our Thanator. Let's now move on with announcing the Guess PC Contest winners. And we have 10 lucky picks, of course! Citarat, Ruslan, Aiden, Billy, Alex, Bannerman Gaming, Maxine, Miguel Philip, Oscar Primus, and Cezanne. Congratulations, everyone! Now for top 10 winners! Hunter Hicks! Top 10! Captain Vermeulen! Parker Sorris! Jay Oliver Perico Paul Prostu Martin Prostu Tan Tan Ray Mr. T-Rex K-Up Zara P.A.D. And Mandy Amar Congratulations everyone! And I'll see you in the next Guess SPC contest. For those of you who would like to join, here's how. Just click on the extension icon and it will lead you to the Click Quicks homepage. And on the homepage, just click on the community link and it will lead you to all my posts. And now on with... Assemblies! So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 8 parts to it. Let's connect the um, lower jaw to the head. Then let's connect all 6 arms. <laughs> and legs of course. And that completes the figure. And now on with the closer look. So we have here our Thanator and of course Sully here. Who isn't really uh, scared of the Thanator at the moment? He is actually running from it. The Thanator is actually based off from this particular photo. Up from the Avatar movie by James Cameron. So of course, Jake Sully here would be coming in back later for some size comparisons, but for now we can have a closer look on the Thanator in 3, 2, 1. Chum like magic, huh? <laughs> I'm bad at it, but I'll improve somehow, guys. Well, looking closely at the Thanator, you have here all six limbs, or uh, you have uh, four, uh, four arms, and of course, two legs on the back. And you have here the head, which has this really peculiar um, exposed gums to it. The tail is flat, probably used so that it can be um, can easily maneuver. The teeth is uh, colored very darkly and glossy as well. The eyes are, uh, you know, directly staring at you. And you have here 10 um, antennae on the sides. I don't know what those are for, but probably they are used to detect movement from miles away. The mouth can open up to this, uh, to this um, extent. And you can see here that um, the uh, frills are also flexible as well. Some detailing, uh, as you can see here, can be seen uh, to represent the armor of the uh, creature. And 
the um, soles of the arms are actually um, painted lightly also. There are two operculums uh, coming from the head which actually attaches to our um, Navi tribe if they want to ride it. So since we've mentioned that, the back side of this creature can actually be um, rideable as well. So all we need to do is take off this um, uh, bricks, that part of the body, and then we can actually attach the uh, minifigure here. In this case, this is Jake Sully. Cool, huh? I feel like I want to ride this also. But one more thing, this particular picture can also light up in the dark for some of the parts, uh, I believe. So if we turn on the lights a little bit more, you can see here that on backlighting, the antennae on both sides of the head as well as the eyes are actually lighting up. You can also see that Geeks over here has this tattoo on his forehead which also lights up. And now, off for a great adventure! I know you guys haven't seen the movie yet, but it actually has good life lessons and it's highly recommended. The visuals are really good as well. If you're a fan of sci-fi as well as nature, then this is the movie for you. Well, up to our next section of this video, this is the size comparisons. And for the size comparisons, we'll be doing this a little bit more differently because uh, this is Avatar Week. We're going to, um, of course, compare this with a Navi tribe. In this case, this is uh, Jake Zolik. Jake Zolik is a little bit taller than the usual minifigure, so I figured since we're comparing it with creatures from Pandora, we're going to use Jake Sully here. So, uh, in terms of size comparisons with this Tanathar, I think it's about the same size uh, when it comes to comparing with the Navi, uh, Navi tribe. Alright, so up to our next comparison. So, Since we've already have one picture, picture from Pandora, this is the Dark Horse from Extinct Bricks. So the Dark Horse here is actually a six-legged creature as well. As with all creatures of Pandora, it has this opportunity that attaches to both Navi Tribe and other, you know, um, plant life or uh, fauna, which somehow connects them to each other. The tiny turtle can easily, um, you know, make use of the dark horse as one of its prey. <laughs> Alright, so moving on with some of the creatures that Extinct Bricks have uh, actually created so far. This is the Extinct Bricks Thylacine or Tasmanian Wolf or Tasmanian Tiger. As you can see here, the tiny turtle is definitely larger than this Tasmanian Wolf or Tasmanian Tiger. Well, moving on to the next uh, comparison we have here, one of the big cats that uh, Steam Bricks have done so far or have done so far, this is the Smilodon. The Steam Bricks Smilodon or Saber to the Cat is actually a big, um, you know, undertaking for me as well because it's actually fully um, articulated. Very much similar to this Tanator. Okay. So, if you can see here, of course, definitely our Thanator is longer than the uh, saber-toothed cat. And as a saber-toothed cat also has this um, uh, articulation on the mouth, the Thanator definitely has one as well. Because they actually use the same um, base figure. Okay, so moving on to the next predator. This is our Extinct Bricks Androsarchus. Now, the Androsarchus here is definitely large, and although it has this larger head to it, the body of the Tanator is definitely longer still. 
which is the main difference is actually on the mouth or the head. The Andrusardus has this really wide um, mouth with lots of razor sharp teeth, which can easily bite through on the head of the Thanator. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the last of the comparisons. This is the Extinct Race Forest Rakers. The Forest Rakers is definitely taller than that of the uh, Thanator. <laughs> Only if the Thanator can, you know, um, raise up his hand. <laughs> Yeah, well, anyway, so uh, battling it out together, I think uh, the Thanator would still win. It has a specialized features, you know, which this Terror Bird doesn't have. Oh, we forgot one more comparison. This is the Extinct Bricks Megalania. Wow. I totally forgot about this one. This is actually one of my favorites uh, among the Megafauna creatures that I have so far. It is very articulated and it's actually really large. So it can actually open and close its mouth like so. <laughs> and it has this really weird looking, you know, um, uh, tongue to it. It's sticking out of his uh, head. <laughs> the coloration is also really nice as well. Well, that's it for our comparisons on the Tanator. We can now move on with the Extinct Bricks Roll Call. So all of these creatures are actually available in our Extinct Rix playlist but if you do have other you know, suggestions for the next avatar creature, I would like to hear that or see that as well so comment down below and don't be shy guys. I know you do have several suggestions of what other creatures you want to see here on Extinct Rix so I am still taking those. If you want prehistoric creatures, then go ahead and comment them down below. Also, Jake Sully here would like to remind you guys that all of these creatures are actually uh, present in our Extinct Rigs playlist. So do check it out guys. I'm leaving the links of all the creatures that you see here uh, on the description box below also so that you can easily access them up. And now, on with our SPC roll call. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's begin with the uh, one on the left one. So we have here our Extinct Rigs, Tasmanian Wolf, or Thylacine. This is our Extinct Rigs for the Strakers. This is our Extinct Rigs Megalania. Our Extinct Rigs Andrew Sarkis. This is our Extinct Rigs Smilodon or Cybercuity Cat. And of course, one of our latest creations, our Extinct Rigs Avatar Dire Horse. And the star of the show here, of course, this is our Extinct Rigs Avatar Tarathor. Such a person creature, don't you think? Rawr. And now we can move on to the last portion of this video. The last legs. The Tarathor, known as Palulukan by the Navi, it is a panther-like predator that lives in the moon of Pandora. They mainly inhabit the rainforest floor, though similar species have been observed in sub-arctic regions. The Thanator appears to hunt alone and normally does not stray outside of its territory, which is believed to be roughly 300 square kilometers. It appears to hunt mainly at night, although makes an exception whenever his stomach feels like it. Well, <laughs> we all do, right? And that's it for our video on our Thanator. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Much more coming up for Avatar Week. So watch out for it guys. Much larger and more extravagant creatures. Again, thank you guys for watching. And 
Please don't forget to support our other channels, Ibito Universe and the Adventures of Moira and Asher. Please watch their videos and support their channels well by subscribing. And as we always would say, at your inner Dino Brick. Woo!